Hi everyone. Well, it's Tuesday, Weight Watcher Weigh-In Day, and um, again, I'm really excited. I'm down 1.2 pounds, so that makes my total 31.4 ounces lost. 31. So, I'm getting every week closer and closer to my goal. Um, and uh, it was a uh, it was a pretty you know easy week I think this week um, sometimes you know there will be episodes of you know a day or so where I'm kind of fighting hunger and so I really try to look at what I'm eating and this week I actually incorporated a little more um, carbs into my daily plan about every second or third day um, and I do think that helps with my cravings because I am a huge carb eater. I love things like bread, pasta, rice. And so eating it in limited amounts, which is portion control, is a really key for me. But a couple of times this week, I went back and had my um, Tuscan bread that I just love. It's very hearty, and when I eat it, I feel very full. And um, it has just that nice crunch when you toast it. And so I had avocado egg um, sandwich slice with it. Um, so I am going to attach a um, video here of a couple of the light meals that I ate this week. I like sharing them with you. You seem to like those. Um, and uh, I hope you enjoy it. Good morning, all. I just, um, I'm in the process of fixing my breakfast. And, you know, I always think about this after I fix my breakfast. But I just wanted to kind of show you a technique that I learned years ago when I was working in a fast food joint in high school. Um, I like my eggs to be a little bit over easy, um, but not quite over easy. So to avoid flipping the eggs, what I do is break them in the pan and cook them. And then I take a lid that's smaller than the pan and pour a little bit of water over the lid. And then the water kind of gets underneath and sort of steams them. And then it's just the perfect um, consistency to the way I like my eggs. Not too hard, not too soft, and they come out of the pan super easy. Just like that. And then what I'm going to do is build my uh, Tuscan toast with avocado, a little bit of yogurt cheese, and pile my eggs on top. I'll show you the finished product. So I'll cut into my egg, and you can see it's a perfect consistency. That's the way I like them. Not quite done like that, but like that. Mm. And underneath, I have avocado and my yogurt cheese. So, total for my breakfast here, and I have um, Faye 0% yogurt with raspberries, my coffee, the two eggs, the Tuscan toast. As you can see, it's a nice hearty piece. The avocado, the total breakfast, five points. It's a hearty breakfast. It's really yummy and um, so easy to make. And sometimes when I'm craving or I have that urge, I want a carb. This is the bread I go to. Um, it's Tuscan. I get it at my local Publix and uh, it's delicious and it satisfies my carb hunger. So bon appetit. As you can see, these eggs completely covered my Tuscan bread. Toasted, it is the most delicious bread. It's so yummy, and it's worth the four points. Now, I don't do it every day, but when I do it, I sure do do it up. Avocado, yogurt cheese, yum. Okay, so we're having pork roast that I already browned in this a glorious instant pot. And you can see all those um, great brown tidbits in there and sauteing onions in there right now. I'm going to add um, a little bit of garlic once it comes back up to heat for saute. And here I have um, two packages. This is a baked potato that I split in half and cut up and seasoned. And this is a sweet potato. And what I'm going to do is 
I'm going to stack carrots at the bottom when I'm done sauteing, put my rack in, and put my roast on top of the rack, and then put my potatoes in there, and then put the lid on, and I will show you the end result. End result, guys, and the potatoes were perfect, both the um, white baked and the sweet that I did in the foil on top. You can see this pork loin is nicely browned. It's so tender. Yummy. Now, in case you're wondering, yes, I do eat a lot of eggs because I love them. They're a good source of protein and it does keep me full. But this morning I did change it up, which I do um, frequently change it up with steel cut oats. These were made in my Instant Pot. I mean, it's so, so easy. One cup of steel cut oats, three cups of water in the Instant Pot, a chopped up apple, a little bit of um, cinnamon if you like, um, and three minutes, and it's done. I add um, Faye yogurt, some raspberries, blueberries, and it is absolutely delicious and filling. Thanks for joining me on my continued journey for weight loss. I hope that um, you may be inspired by a couple of the little dishes that I show you, and I appreciate you all so much. Bye. All right, so until my next video, I'm off running errands right now. Be kind, be humble, age gracefully. Bye.